So, hello everyone. Today we have the pleasure of introducing Prima Jain Ma'am, a distinguished alumnus of Ram Mohan Bhave's Mentoring Finance. Prima Ma'am, can you please tell us more about yourself? Hi, I am an advocate by profession. I have been a seasoned practitioner as a company secretary also erstwhile. Uh, where I was in the practice for uh, around uh, nine years or so before I shifted on to my practice. I have been on the board of listed and unlisted companies as an independent director, chairing their NRC and uh, nomination and remuneration committee as also. Uh, I am also serving on the internal complaints committee of various organizations span India, being their external member. Apart from that, I take care of dispute resolution matters, insolvency matters, and of course, uh, those which are critical for startups pertaining to the negotiation of their agreements, drafting, their compliance, so, uh, so on and so forth. The company secretary of me isn't out, and uh, so is the uh, finance professional. Thank you so much, ma'am. It is such a great pleasure to have you here. Thank and... Um, I want to ask you, which course did you opt from from mentoring finance? So this was, I think, uh, way back in 2017. And this was an IFRS, where mm -hmm. this was a physical batch that Ram Mohan Bhave sir had taken for all of us. And it was happening over around uh, six or seven weekends where he used to travel back from Mumbai and uh, uh, give us the nuances of IFRS and the interplay between uh, India's and IFRS, because that time it was... Uh, the wave had already started that India will soon step in, in the Indian regime. And uh, the convergence part was also being discussed in the match. Okay. Any memory of Ram Mohan Bhave, sir, that you want to share while you were doing that course? Well, I think uh, each of his students would definitely agree to the fact that, one, he had too many examples to give. Say, for example, you come up with a kind of uh, situation saying, sir, it will be a unique situation. But trust me, sir, will tell you that I'll give you a live example of what we've already done on this. And I think his examples of Blue Star have been the most ones that all of us would have definitely gone through. And the second one, him being a foodie. <laughs> great. It's great to hear. Uh, finally, I would uh, ask you, what advice would you like to give to, you know, people who are dreaming currently and who want to pursue, who want to start their career basically in a finance field? When earlier people would think that being a finance professional would only be something that you were a chartered accountant or a cost accountant or a BCom who's thereafter going for some kind of an accounting job. But things have changed over the last seven, eight years. And I think sir has largely contributed to it because uh, how he has given that orientation in the minds of finance professionals that valuation could be a different stream. ACCA course could also open up uh, a different job opportunity or career opportunity for uh, finance professionals. And in the SIFR, this, of course, is different. Um, the way valuation has turned up in the Indian ecosystem, uh, right from co corporates to startups, of course, has been different. So uh, these kind of things are those add-ons also and not today's scenario, not just add-ons, but a relevant uh, achievement for any professional to step up in the finance industry and gain a recognition for themselves in the niche segment. So a chartered accountant may be serving diverse uh, aspects, but a valuation professional is a valuation professional. A chartered uh, co uh, cost accountant may be dealing only with the costing side of stuff, or MIS maybe. Uh, or production related information, but somebody who has undertaken an NDS or IFRS as a specialization would be doing something which is one, a specialist job, two, it can give you an overall understanding of a financial statement without being a chartered accountant and keep you at par with the global practices as well. So I think that's how today finance professionals should approach. So BCom can also go for it. Uh, you can also opt for an ACCA alongside. 
and and it's not that only it is an ad hoc for a chartered accountant or a cost accountant or a company secretary or a lawyer it is an independent course in itself and guys go for it it definitely helps today i have a, a definite understanding of financial statements and uh, while dealing with my clients also maybe startups or maybe corporates it definitely helps me a lot okay okay thank you so much ma'am it is such a good thing to see a proud confident woman and you have inspired me a lot and thank you so much for your time for this interview thank you so much pleasure pleasure being a part of uh, mentoring finance alumni yes thank you